What do a French arch, a Revolutionary War era tunnel in South Carolina, and launch pads at Cape Canaveral have in common? They're all sites recently captured by the 3D imaging tools of USF's Alliance for Integrated Spatial Technologies, or AST. We're documenting this for historic purposes, for preservation purposes, and for outreach to the public to bring them virtually here. The researchers use aerial photos, GPS data, and terrestrial laser scanning to map sites like the launch pad where astronaut John Glenn was sent into orbit. And as the devices have shrunk, they've also gotten more powerful. Some are able to scan up to 330 meters at a time. The idea of scanning that much information um, in a seven minute time frame, uh, you know, is just mind blowing when you think of it. We're collecting millions and millions of points um, to two millimeters of accuracy in, in minutes. That power helps capture amazing detail, whether it's on a large structure like France's triumphal arch of orange, or in a tight spot like a Patriot tunnel dug under a British fort in South Carolina in the 1780s. So we can do things that you can't do with photographs. We can actually 3D print these structures, um, scale them, look at them in different um, ways. We can slice them. We can actually um, look for deformation and change. And who knows what the future holds? It's a matter of time, you know, five years out, we're looking at being able to scan easily with our, our phones or other devices that are um, wearable computing kind of technologies. One thing's for sure, ACE will use the latest technology to continue to protect the past. For University Beat, I'm Mark Schreiner. For more information about ACE or to view previous segments, log on to WUSF.org and click on the University Beat link.